Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen and today we're making Devils on Horseback. Sweet date stuffed with a creamy goat's cheese and crunchy walnut, then wrapped in delicious bacon with a maple mustard glaze. They're the perfect appetizer because they're quick and easy to make. I personally prefer to use dates for this recipe, but you can also use prunes and to make things easy for yourself, just open them up and place them on your board and depending on the type of dates that you've got, you might need to remove the pit first. When making this appetizer, I'll normally cater for between three and four devils on horseback per person. And what's great about this appetizer is that you can make it ahead of time, keep them in your refrigerator, and then just before you need them, pop them into your oven. And if you've got lots of dates left over, they're great to put inside of stews because they're a natural sweetener. Sometimes I'll chop them up and put them inside of scones. And there are also two other date recipes on the channel that you might want to check out. Some date snicker bites, which are a fun snack recipe, or some date syrup, which is great to pour over waffles and pancakes. So once you've filled your dates with a generous dollop of goat's cheese, you're going to want to then to push about a quarter piece of walnut into the cheese. As soon as all of your dates are stuffed, it's time to then wrap them up in bacon. And if you don't want to use bacon, you could also use some prosciutto or some pancetta. This is a flexible recipe, and what makes this appetizer such a winner for me is the combination of flavors and textures. So you can use other cheese and nut combinations, for example, brie and pistachio, or even blue cheese with the walnuts. You'll notice in the video that I've cut the bacon in half and then I'll just grab one piece, I'll close the date up with the cream cheese and walnut and then I'll wrap the bacon around the outside making sure to secure it with a cocktail stick and then I'll place this on an oven tray that's been covered with some baking paper. I don't know about you but I just love the name some of our classic dishes have. Today we're making devils and horseback but there are also angels and horseback which are oysters wrapped in bacon and another classic Christmas recipe similar to this one, pigs in blankets. When you finish prepping your devils on horseback, you can either pop them into your refrigerator, as we spoke about earlier, or cook them straight away, as we're going to be doing now. And you're going to want to place them straight into a preheated oven, 180 C for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take the tray out, then turn each one over and brush over some maple syrup that you've mixed in with some chopped up fresh rosemary and some whole grain mustard. Pop this back into your oven for another five minutes and then after five minutes I'll repeat the same procedure. I'll turn each one over and then I'll brush over the glaze and put them back in the oven for a final five minutes and I'll let them keep cooking until the bacon is nice and crispy. Once out of the oven plate them up and I like to put them on some rosemary for a contrasting colour and then finally sprinkle a little bit of salt. These devils on horseback are always popular whenever I serve them to family and friends and they're all amazed how simple they are yet packed with flavour. And with Thanksgiving and Christmas around the corner, they're the perfect easy appetizer to make. Thank you for watching and for more simple and delicious recipes, please check out the channel.